Hey there guys, Misfit here from the Co-op Guys, back with a Minecraft video. It's been a while, I know, but we're back. So what kind of Minecraft are we dealing with now? Well, sorry to disappoint, no longer feed the beast. We're back in vanilla, baby. <laughs> yep, we are back with traditional, unadulterated, unflavored, unmodded Minecraft. And I've got to tell you, I have been enjoying it more than I have to been feed the beast in quite a while actually. Um it's been it's been quite some time since I recorded a Minecraft video, but it doesn't mean I've not been playing Minecraft and I've been uh, playing around from here to there. That sounded a bit weird, but never mind. Um but I have ended up on this server and this is the Cherry Vanilla server. It's a whitelisted server. Um and I have been enjoying it a lot. I've been playing on it the last couple of months and uh, been having a blast the entire time and uh, recently <clears throat> about a month ago uh, the man himself has also joined me on the server and a couple of weeks ago Reaper came on too so uh, all the co-op guys are on the server um, <laughs> so uh, this server is as close to vanilla as we can get feasibly uh, well, you could just launch a vanilla server if you wanted to, but there are a couple of plugins on the server just to help make the, the experience a bit more uh, pleasant, I guess. But still, everything is pretty much vanilla. Although one of the plugins does allow you to do uh, this. So there is a little bit of TPing allowed, um, <coughs> but there's timers on it. So uh, for most members, you can only go to spawn or go to a home once every 30 minutes. But this is our spawn village. And uh, this spawn village is actually in a separate world from the rest of the game. Which is I is a bit difficult for me to understand, but it's done. Uh, well, actually, no, I understand it entirely. It makes things easier. But we've got a nice, beautiful lighthouse here. I'm actually quite glad I came here at night just to show that off. Um, and a little pier for fishing. Although we're not allowed fishing. We're, <laughs> we're not allowed to fish. I forgot about that. And uh, oh, someone loves Tigger. That's awesome. Um, so yeah. any Anyone who joins the server will spawn here. And here's our notice board. And we're, ju we're just getting these shops uh, up and running again. Um, we've got post office here. <coughs> For all our mail mailboxes, here's a whole bunch of the people on the server. If you're really interested to see who's here, uh, pause the video at any time just to be nosy. Uh, any mail? Nah, I haven't got any mail at the moment. Um, but yeah, I've been playing on the server for a couple of months and I've been having an absolute blast. Um, and in order to honour my time on the server, and just because I want to, I figured to uh, start recording videos as well. Um, even been toying with an idea for the series, possibly, uh, miss well, I do, oh, I should probably say, I do want to make a series again, but I don't want to try and schedule myself in uploading videos like I tried to before. It be I didn't have the time to do all those videos, and that's why things eventually just kind of evaporated. Um, but instead, I just want to record videos and release them just as just as things come along and that when I have the time so it, it will probably won't be regular but that will be here um, but as I've been on for a couple of months and I've actually been made a staff member believe it or not uh, <laughs> so I am now a mod on this server I have been for a little while and here are the staff that run the server and if you might notice here is a very ugly version of me I look much better with hair with hair without with hair uh, without might need to change that <laughs> at some point but as you might notice there's a rather menacing face sitting right here not menacing at all <laughs> but DMH just got made a mod as, as well uh, so congratulations to him on making making a staff some responsibility will do you some good <laughs> he's showing up everywhere <laughs> you just can't get rid of him oh and there's Reaper, just to prove that he exists and his absence has not been, uh, <laughs> hasn't been missed. Here is Reaper here. Uh, but yeah, this is our spawn village. Let's just show it around a little bit. 
Um, we've got a library here, which we're hoping to use. Something that uh, that the owner Claire has uh, does periodically is have writing contests. So people can write write down on books in, according to a particular theme and then can pop their entries into this chest and they'll be judged and prizes handed out. Oh, there is one plugin on the server which I think is pretty cool. You can use bookshelves. You can't put items in, only books. So any kind of book you can put in a bookshelf, but other than that you can't. So that's pretty cool. Um, we've already defeated the Ender Dragon, so its egg and even its head are on display here at Swan for everyone to see. Um, and here's some of the shops which we've got running. So shops are a another one of the plugins that we're using. And um, so if I wanted to buy some stuff and sell some stuff, coming in at the shops, which are pretty cool. Um, let's see, is there anything good? Oh, fish. Might be interesting. I should probably mention we are in still in 1.6.4 as of now. 1.7.2 has been released, but the uh, spigot which we're we're using to run the server doesn't is not up yet updated for 1.7.2. Uh, neither has Craft Bucket. Um, I think the plugins are updated, but just the ability to put them, to turn them on hasn't. So we're not operating in the latest Minecraft build yet, but it will happen one day. So, oh yeah, and here's my shop here. I haven't got too much stocked here, but I do have a ton of cobwebs for sale. So if you want some cobwebs for $100, we have money on the server as well. $100, feel free to come on down. Let me just see, how much money have I got? Oh, 6,987. Yeah, not too bad. I'm just, I'm still in the middle of stocking up my shop, so a little bare at the moment. Um, TMH also has a shop. And if we'll just head over there, in typical TMH style, he is offering cobwebs at 95. <laughs> he's undercutting me deliberately. Uh, oh, he's got fireworks? He's not selling fireworks. He's not selling teens. Oh, this is just all random stuff. Now that is pretty nifty. I do like that. I'll give him that. Um, so, oh. Right, so this is pretty much all of spawn. Is there anything else I've missed? No, really, I don't think so. Um, but we've also got our portal room over here. Uh, water portals, which is great. Uh, he's wondering where another fortress is. So we've got portals here. This leads us to the main survival in the overworld. This leads us to the nether hub. This leads us to a separate PvP world. Let's have a quick look at that actually, because this place is pretty cool. Um, and since I'm a mod, I I do have special powers, but I'm not going to be using them for this series, um, mainly because it wouldn't be fair. So th this series, I'm going to be just playing as a regular member. I'm not going. This is not going to be a series about the life of a mod on a Minecraft server. Uh, which is which I don't think would be too interesting anyway. Um, that and uh, in case something comes up, I don't want to name and shame people. So uh, we're we're just gonna whenever I'm recording, I'm just a regular member. So don't be asking me for special mod stuff when I'm recording. You hear that guy? You hear that cherry guys? Cherry guys? I don't know what to call people in the server actually. And uh, so we've got uh, plenty of arenas there. Each one has a, has a theme. That's an overworld theme. We've got a couple more um, for the nether and caving and so on. Um, that one's a work in progress. We do have... Uh, what you call it? This one here appears to be the favourite. And just for the sake of this... No, I'm not going to. <laughs> I was going to say for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you it. But no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to fly. That would be cheating. So here, this is our sandstone arena I think that's the unofficial name of it uh, but everyone who fights typically fights in here it's pretty good anyway let's head back to the middle of nowhere oops one sec okay we're back at spawn um, so that was a PvP world we also have a creative world here 
where we can just uh, where uh, certain members can go on and they can design stuff on their own set plots and then they can come back and build it in the real world. We've also got something which is pretty interesting where uh, once a month a brand new end world separate from the one we already have will open up just for people to come on and fight the ender dragon if they really want to. Um, it's only open for a day and as soon as the ender dragon is killed pretty much the whole world gets uh, removed. So let's head to the overworld. We the overworld spawn at the moment is a little desolate. Uh, the reason for that is... Oh, oh god. Hang on a minute. Oh, somebody hit the noob test. Oh well. Um, yeah, so this area is a bit desolate because we did used to have uh, a spawn here. Um, which was filled with gl big glass bubble domes, which I loved actually. Uh, but we we got a new spawn built, so we just teleport. So we just uh, created the new spawn in the new world, and this one was deleted. So at the moment, there's nothing here. But um, let's just uh, head back. Head back. Let's just go have a look through the Nether Hub. So we'll go to our, ne our current Nether Hub, and we'll see if we can find. Uh, well, we'll you know what? We'll check out TMH's place because I haven't been there in a little while. Um. So, color coded doors and a nice quartz hallway with cobblestone. Although, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure quartz and cobble go too well together. Oh, <laughs> this tunnel. It's. Right, I want you to feel my pain. Look how sore your eyes are getting at this tunnel. It's just madness. It is ridiculous at how. Never mind. I'm moaning. I shouldn't moan. Despite this tunnel being incredibly trippy, it does have something here, which I think is brilliant. Cart deployer, pretty cool. The best part is at the other end. It, it will take you out of the cart and it will store the minecart without hurting you at all. Well, that's the plan anyway. And of course, he's got his pokeball thing in the end. Uh, but he spent a lot in this tunnel actually. And here we go. Brilliant. I love that. I'll give give credit where credit is due. So let's head into TMH's place and have a little look about. Ta -da. He's in the middle of the ocean. And he's got his mushroom hut. I think he builds that on pretty much every server he plays on. Or every single uh, Minecraft thing he plays on. Oh. I do not know what this is. I will leave it be. Um, he might be doing something dastardly over here. Ah, okay. Not sure what he's been up to. Oh, okay. Now, he has got himself a little mob farm here. But what I didn't know was that he's got himself an iron golem farm. Or he's working on one. This is new. And is that an upside down villager? What? What is... Of course. He's got an upside down villager. <laughs> In case you didn't know, if you name a mob Dinner Bone or Grum, it flips them upside down. Oh, I can't believe he's got that. Um. So yeah, humble beginnings for him, I think. Oh, he does have a beacon. I wouldn't call that exactly call that humble. Um. But he's building bases underwater, which is pretty nice. Do quite the look of some of it. Let's just head down into his tree farm, <clears throat> which does look pretty cool at night when you're looking down into this place. Um, I think he still needs to work on the walls, but other than that, the place is pretty solid. And he's even got two slots available for the new trees that come with 1.7. So he's pretty sit. He's getting pretty well set up. Um, he's got a bunch of farms here actually. Uh, let's have a little look see. There we go, yeah. A whole bunch of farms in here. Even one for uh, getting snow. Which... Yep, still works. Oh, I guess Crazy Snakey found... No, that doesn't seem right. I guess he, I guess he found the Nether Fortress. Maybe, maybe not. So yeah, this is uh, TMH's place. Um, 
He's got a nice little stable over here as well. Got some pretty nice horses. Horses. <laughs> Fed by <laughs> Misfit Incorporated Farms. Yeah, he stole a bunch of wheat from me for the hay bales, so I felt I needed a little bit of credit in that regard. Alright, so <clears throat> that's TMH's place. Why don't we go and. Uh, well, Reaper right at the moment is still living in a hole in the ground. <laughs> So as much as I would love to show that, um, hang on, what's he got down here? Oh, that's a chicken cooker. Right, okay, I was wondering what this was. I just saw the lava from up top. Um, yeah, so that's TMH's place. Let's go uh, get stuck on that chest and we'll have a look at mine. Yeah, so here's my nether tunnel, and here is everything that everyone has ever done to my tunnel. Uh, I didn't lay this track, I didn't do any of this, but uh, a couple of other people have done things in my tunnel. Like, they've uh, set up an area for farming wither skeletons, and then they just made a track off of my tunnel. And then over here, someone else made... Oh, not quite here anymore, but you set up a thing, the this thing, which was, oh, it was an obsidian cage for a wither, but uh, that kind of backfired, apparently. You, I am down at the end of this tunnel, I haven't done anything with it yet, I'm, you know, I'm not much of a builder, I'm more of a technical person, but I am trying to work on my building skills with this amazing... Uh, no, I can't. I can't do it. I hate this house. <laughs> this is my house. I built this not long after I started. The only thing I like about it is it has a bucket seats by the windows, but it is terrible. And uh, I wrote these signs actually, but then TMH <laughs> came and vandalized them. Initially, it said misfits, crummy, pathetic, ugly starter house, and then <laughs> TMH came along and went TMH is crummy, pathetic, ugly friend misfit tempo starter house. Yep, he did that in his first couple of days on here. What he also did was, when he was having a look in my house, he was like, he put a, a crafting table right on top of my en enchanting table, and he left a sign saying, couldn't find a crafting table, so I put one here for you. There was one in the ceiling that <laughs> he completely missed. So yeah, oh, I'm, I'm glitching through stuff all, all over the place, so... Humble beginnings, um, but whilst I had this, my main focus was on this over here. This is ridiculous. And this is my farm. This is my uh, wheat farm, carrot farm, and potato farm. And it is enormous and expensive, and I love it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I spent a lot of my time early on in the server building this thing. Um, yeah. So, I do quite like how it turns out. The whole idea behind the farm was I wanted the whole thing to work with, like, water flowing down in a silo kind of way. So, water starts at the top, and here I'll go up a little bit further. Water starts at the top, hits in the middle, and then it washes all this wheat out to the sides. Then the water comes down around the edges of this level and pushes it all into the middle. And then it does the same for the the next two layers until it gets down to our water collection channel. And it gets flushed along into the hoppers and down into the chests. And it works quite well. I just don't actually, but the thing is now that I actually built the thing, I don't use it all that much, <laughs> so oh, it's a bit silly even having this, but I might change it, especially with an idea I had for the area, but, um, oh yeah, and I've got a chicken cooker, chicken drowner, and an egg farm, which is now off, um, design is on, I, I, I li pretty much lifted it from a design I found on YouTube, and it worked really well. At least in 1.6. 1.6.4 it doesn't seem to work as well. 
Um, but then I tweak the design a little bit by lowering that dispenser so that it just dr drowns the chickens as opposed to uh, cooking them just because it seemed to work better than the lava one which sometimes destroys the drops. Um, I've got a ton of horses. These, All these guys here, they literally just spawned over there one day. And uh, I was like, right, I'm going to fence you all in. You're now mine. Um, something I have noticed in this area, this area is ridiculous. I've counted them all. I have 20 spawners within about 150 blocks of my house. Which is nuts. And I've marked them all with these little things here. So we've got a cave spider spawner that goes straight down there. Um, we have a uh, zombie spawner here. And I've, I've uh, written down the coordinates and seen what spawners are close enough that might work. There's another spawner which you can get to from down here as well. But I've got tons of spawners and more than I can even use. But pretty much every single one of them is a zombie spawner or a cave spider spawner. Um, there is, there are two exceptions, and one of them has already been taken by someone else, um, and that was a skeleton one. So that sucks. But uh, something I'm working on, I, I've been working on, and I will show in a later episode, is a triple zombie farm. Which there, that one, that one, and this one. I, I have already built something, but I'll, it's not quite finished. So I'll show you guys another day. Um, but ow, the best thing that I have made is over here and this is me actually flexing my building muscles because as you may have seen before I am not much of a builder I'm more of a technical person which is why I fell in love with Feed the Beast in the first place but now that I'm back in vanilla I feel I should balance redstone with building and that's why I've come up with this this is my lumber mill and I love it so it's an it's almost like an old style lumber mill that you would see. Um, the kind of theme I was going for is roughly colonial, 1600s colonial US theme, but pff, I don't know. I just picked an idea and went for it. And this is what I've come up with. So we've got the lumber mill up top. Um, inside, we do have a saw. And this is my saw for chopping up all the logs. But we don't have any power, so there's no, there's no power wheel or anything that links into this, so right now it doesn't do anything. Um, got some pre-cut logs down here, wrapped up in traditional rail track, of course. Um, and I've got an item sorter here, which I'll get to in a minute. Nope, I'll do it now. This item sorter sucks! <laughs> I'll say that now. I don't know why. I've built this... I'm going to show you. I've built this design of an item sorter a few times before but in this setup it just doesn't work and I don't know why um, it is the same one that JL2579 used in his witch farm and for the life of me I can't find a tutorial for just that uh, item sorter um, the whole idea about the, by this is that it completely separates the inventory checks um, I need that. It completely separates the uh, the redstone lines for the comparators so that they don't intermingle which is exactly what I wanted but for some it works mostly but sometimes one sapling or one log will go all the way past where it's supposed to go and into this chest here. By the way I did not put that there. These pork chops <laughs> these trees are vicious. I had a <laughs> One of these trees grew and killed a couple of pigs. <laughs> so I've got pretty dangerous trees. But something I do have here, which I am proud of, is the Detritus Recovery ve Vehicle. Let's see it in action. Basically, I have a minecart that runs underneath all of these trees. And whenever I cut the trees down, I don't have to worry about picking up the saplings or any stray bits of wood because there's a minecart that runs all the way, a minecart with a hopper I should say, that runs all the way under here, picks up all the debris, and then it brings it back and puts it in the item sorter. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Also, um, it will continue to run as long as this lever is down and there's something in it. 
I will probably give a better explanation of how it works later. Um, oh, Gorsh the Witch is online. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much what I've done. In the oh, wait, one sec. I also made a charcoal pit. <laughs> or a charcoal kiln, sorry. <laughs> I love that. Just a little idea, just to add a little touch onto this. Oh, something I do need to say about this. When it, TMH helped me build the lumber mill, actually. I got the main frame done and he helped me make the whole thing look that much nicer. And I thank him for it. Um, but one thing I was saying while building it is that the roof is too light. I wanted a nice... Co oh, don't you dare. Not again. I've had creepers blow this up a couple of times. Um, but the roof was too light for me. And... Uh, as we're building it, I was saying, oh, uh, as I was saying to TMH, I wanted a darker, darker roof with a lighter floor. Um, sorry, I thought there was a creeper there. And lo and behold, a couple of days later, we heard that 1.7 has dark wood in it. So as soon as we update, that roof has been ripped out, and I'm replacing it with dark wood, and it should look so much better. Anyway, I think I have rambled on a bit too much. Uh, so this will be the start of a new series. Not too regular, but hopefully regular enough. Um, in uploading, I mean, not just the content. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just rambling on. Anyway. So this is where I am. I am on the Cherry Vanilla server. There will be a link to the uh, forum site in the description. And if you want to get on the server, submit an application, and uh, who knows, maybe even myself or TMH will approve the application, you can come on here as well. So this is where I am, and this is where we are, and we will see you guys later. Bye!